With a $4 billion facelift, New York's LaGuardia Airport will soon go from this to this. It's building a completely new terminal uh, on the, um, uh, some of the facilities are, that are there. It's not uh, raising everything to the ground, particularly the uh, Delta Terminal, C and D, uh, will be rebuilt uh, to, to some extent, whereas the Central Terminal, Terminal B, will be entirely rebuilt. Vice President Joe Biden and New York Governor Andrew Cuomo announced the major overhaul a year after Biden compared the airport to a third world country. The 1930 structure simply can't keep up with the estimated 27 million passengers who traveled through it just last year. The transportation is very confusing and with airlines that have bought each other out, you're not sure if you need to go to which terminal. It's always jammed and I just looked at my flight and it's delayed, so nothing new. You know, there's a lot of water that, that can leak whenever it's raining. You'll see like pots collecting water that's dribbling down from the ceiling. And the vision is to shift the layout and build a more unified high tech terminal with more space for planes, passengers and ground transportation, aiming to decrease gate wait times, congestion on runways and transport passengers seamlessly to terminals. This is a big job uh, and it's a, it's a major job. The, the stakes are very high for New York. Uh, the economy uh, depends on a first-class airport system, and right now we don't have that. Construction is set to start next year, with the first revamped area scheduled to be open to the public as soon as 2019. In New York, Bonnie Ghosh, Associated Press.